Take a walk or something. Clear your head. I'll call you back as soon as I hear from them, okay? I love you too. Bye. Hey. Hey. Is your mom okay? Yeah, it's fine. Just, uh, I'm helping her put together a deal in Hong Kong. It's taking a turn for the worse, and she's just, um, uh, taking it a little too seriously. Right. Unlike her son. Well, mom's usually a pretty savvy businesswoman. Just, uh, since Jerry disappeared, well, he's most likely dead. She's a little off her game. I can only imagine. Actually, I wanted to ask you something about your brother. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. Do you know what kind of dealings he had with Claudia Zakara? I made it a point not to get involved in my brother's dealings, so I don't think he had any business with Claudia Zakara, as far as I know. Then you're sure about that? Well, I mean, it's Jerry. You know what he was like with the ladies. Maybe they knew each other, if you know what I'm saying. She's certainly his type. Greedy, amoral, psychotic. It's not really helping much, is no, it? No, actually, it is. Thank you. Oh. So, yeah, there's something uh, else that I... Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, go ahead. Go. No, 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 no. You go ahead. I insist. Well, there's, um, there's only one way to really say this, and that is to just say it. Okay. Carly and I have decided to... Um, Give it another try. We've put the divorce on hold for a while. Wow. I'm really, I'm really sorry to hear that, for your sake. But... Oh, Kate, I thought you'd be, I thought you'd be, be happy for me. I mean, at least I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stick this one out. I'm not running, you know? You know, Jack, I have seen you go through women like Candy. I've known you a long time. I really did hope that you'd end up with a woman with quality. Well, that is the plan. <laughs> you know you deserve better, right? I see. I mean, it's really, it's, it's just astonishing. It's astonishing to watch her work. You know, she trashed me and Sonny, and she's probably one of the reasons that Sonny married Claudia. You blame Carly for Why that? not, Jack? She blames me for everything. I mean, she made sure that you and I couldn't really have anything, right? And now she's just skipping merrily through the wreckage all the way back to you. It's not how I see it. Of course you don't, Jax. Of course you don't see it that way because you won't let yourself see it that way. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Carly is your choice. It's your mistake to make. And I would never dream of standing in your way. Bad news? No. Uh, no news, I'm afraid. I'm, just, I'm waiting for some important uh, paperwork from Hong Kong, and uh, all I get is junk. Uh, Hong Kong? Helping my mother close a business deal. Ah. Uh, you know, I have no patience for incompetence. Well, fortunately, I am here to very competently deliver you some good news. The tile work has all been completed on the Plaza View rooms. You serious? I'm serious. You have eight gorgeous luxury suites just waiting for your high-end clientele to start checking in and enjoying the view of the plaza, which is good because you've been turning away business. You know how long... I've waited for that project to be done? I'm guessing a long time. Long time, since yeah. we uh, started rebuilding after the hostage crisis. Wow. Thank you very much. You've made my day. Well, I'm just delivering the good news. No, no, no. Don't be modest. This couldn't have happened without you. Hiring you is one of the best things I've ever done. <laughs> if you do say so yourself. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Miss Falconeri, I'm the boss around here. What I say goes. <laughs> oh, good. I don't have to track you down. Uh, I'm afraid that those... Plaza View rooms won't be opening after all. As a partner in this hotel, I could be sued if those rooms are found to be unsafe, and that's a liability I just can't afford. Well, it's a good thing that you're not a full partner. You don't get to make those kind of decisions. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, there's no need to worry here. We've passed all our safety inspections with flying colors. Mr. Cassidy's not interested in safety inspections. He's here to make sure that the Plaza View project is a failure. Isn't that right, Nicholas? Uh, with all due respect, sir, you might as well just burn a big stack of money in the parking lot because you're burning money if you don't make those rooms available to the guests, so... I have my reasons. Well, as operations manager of this hotel, I can personally assure you that those luxury suites are good to go. Nevertheless, so I have an injunction to prevent it. We don't open that wing until I get my own inspection. Okay, make it happen. No, no, it's fine. I, I, I already did. I took care of it. We're on the schedule. Unfortunately, the inspector can't squeeze us in until the end of spring, so... Oh, well, we'll get another inspector. But this is a man that I trust. Miss Falconeri, Mr. Cassidy won't be lifting the injunction unless I sell him back Spoon Island. I'll make this really simple for you. 
I want my land back, and I want the matter settled today. Why are you suddenly in my face making demands? I'll, I'll give you 20% on top of what you paid for Spoon Island, and then I lift the injunction. That's a generous oh, offer, don't oh. you think? Let me think about that. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. You see, I bought Spoon Island as an investment property to build a, a spa and a resort, golf courses, condos along the right. side, you know, that sort of thing. What I'm trying to get at, Nicholas, is that it's worth a hell of a lot more than 20%. Well, it's more than just a plot of land to me, so you consider this fair warning. Sell me back my home. Or you can kiss that precious little wing of yours goodbye, yeah, and okay. I won't stop there. Hey, you gentlemen, you brought gentlemen, this on yourself when you guests. walked in here when Carly, Carly was vulnerable, and you helped yourself to this hotel. The same way you helped yourself to Courtney. You remember her, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. This is not a street corner in Bensonhurst, okay? Gentlemen, there is no need to ruin your beautiful suits. I'm sure we can discuss this like rational. Discuss? There's Human nothing beings. to discuss. You have fun waiting until next spring. Okay. Miss Courtney, or do I even want to know? He's an arrogant son of a bitch. Well, relax, Mr. Jax. You have not been outmaneuvered yet. Where'd you get that? Right out of the arrogant son of a bitch's pocket. Yes, I know you already set up an appointment with Mr. Cassidyne, but I am actually calling right now at his behest to see if we could set up something a little bit earlier. Like tomorrow. Oh, lovely. Yes. yes. Yes, of course. We'll be expecting you then. Yes, and Mr. Cassidy, I wanted to be very, very clear that you're to bill him personally for any inconvenience that this may have caused you. Yes. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is brilliant. Remind me to give you a bonus. We're not done yet. Who are you calling now? Okay. Yes, is this a Cassidyne residence? Yes, hello. I'm calling from the Metro Court Hotel. It seems that one of our guests uh, has turned in a cell phone. Uh, never mind. Mr. Castine, you're looking for this. Well, I just don't know how I could have dropped it. Well, no harm done. Oh, and by the way, it turns out that your inspector had an earlier slot available for an inspection tomorrow. Isn't she wonderful? Well, she only just started working here. I can't wait to see what she does with the Spoon Island Spa Project. All I want is to hang on to my home. And that's what I'll do, by any means necessary. All right.